Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Libra. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. We have the Ace of Pentacles. The Forbidden card, so. Maybe Spirit is saying that you may be getting an offer here, but they may be telling you that this may not be the best option. Or maybe somebody wants to extend an offer to and they feel like they can't. Tell me more. We have Wheel of Fortune, Sag, and Pisces Energy. Clean up. Uh, somebody feels like, somebody can maybe feel like they can't have anything with you until they get their life together. Like They feel like you're the forbidden fruit. They feel like they can't have you because you're not allowing them to have you. Mm -hmm. You're not allowing this person to have you because... There's something here that they need to let go of. I mean, I did just see the devil. So they could have toxic attachments, karmic ties, addictions, toxic behaviors, habits, things like that. They need to heal. They need to do the inner work. They need to do the shadow work. Clarify Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. Ooh, sexual encounter. I really hope that this isn't somebody that is trying to tell you that they want something stable and committed with you. But their only intent is to sleep with you. Because that's kind of what it's looking like. Turn out forbidden, or that's all that they can really give to you at this time. We have judgment. So, hmm. Scorpio energy. Clarify wheel of fortune. What a catch. Wanting to conquer, fear of losing you. Hmm. Somebody may feel like they need to make some changes. Clarify clean up. The Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. Okay. I definitely feel like you guys have maybe raised your standards. Like it's too like for this person to have access to you, they're gonna have to do more or provide more or be in a different energy to be able to have you in that way type energy is what I'm getting from this. What is the forbidden in judgment? The Emperor, okay, and the Queen of Pentacles. What does this have to do with my collective? The Six of Swords. So you guys are ready to move on. Clarify the Six of Swords. The Knight of Pentacles. Somebody's moving slow. Nah. The King of Wands. What about the King of Wands? The Taming Hunger. Somebody is taking their time. It's almost like you're moving on while this person is purposely trying to slow down something here i don't know like they're trying to like they're trying to resist the connection they're trying to resist you they're like moving very slowly towards you but it's like while they're moving slow you are moving on from them i don't understand why are they moving this slowly why are they trying to so it says separation is necessary to learning divine lessons so maybe the spirit says that's the way it has to be things have to happen in a certain timing they got to learn these lessons but I feel like you guys are moving on from them. What is um, Ace of Pentacles and Sexual Encounter? The Ten of Cups, okay? And the Moon. Somebody feels like you have... Somebody's doing a lot of thinking about how they feel like you are in like a happy relationship now. How you're in a steady union. You've been offered commitment. They may even be thinking about you sleeping with other people. They feel like this is something that they... There's uncertainty around this. Like, this person doesn't really know what's going on with you. Like, have you gotten into a commitment with somebody? Are you sleeping with somebody else? Are you happy with somebody? Are you a family with somebody? Like, somebody doesn't know. Or maybe this is what somebody's trying to create an illusion that you guys can be happy together, that they things will be steady. To clarify the moon, the two, yeah, something not being able to be seen. Something being, like, somebody either feels that they can't see what's going on with you or they're trying to keep you from finding out something or they haven't made up their mind about something. Maybe somebody hasn't made up their mind about whether or not they want to settle down or if they want to just have sexual encounters. or So yeah, Seven of Cups as I'm saying this. There's a lot of energy here around illusions. Clarify the Seven of Cups. The Star. Okay, the Star and the Hierophant. What's the Seven of Cups though? The Five of Cups. This person, If this person did try to have options or if they were exploring options or something like that, they regret this or... Mm, what are they wishing for here? A commitment? Yeah, to, for things to restart between the two of you. Yeah, the Empress. Mm -hmm. What about the Five of Swords, though? The Lovers. 
in the world. They want to put an end to some type of like cycle that you guys have. If they are playing games with you or they betrayed you or things are toxic, they don't want it to be like that anymore. They want something more balanced. I don't know. Let's see. What is the um Wheel of Fortune and the What a Catch card? Wheel of Fortune and what, Wheel of Fortune and What a Catch. That's Six of Swords again. They feel like the one that they fear losing is getting away from them, is ready to move on from them. So what now? The Hierophant and the Empress. They want to try to, com to commit to you or something. They want to offer you a commitment. The, the masculine, I mean, take how it resonates. It, you know, masculine or feminine or divine feminine, divine masculine. Somebody's wanting to extend an offer of commitment to another person. Or they think you have moved into a commitment. So what does that mean for this counterpart or whoever this is? <laughs> yeah, the two of pentacles. They're still like in this juggling or weighing their options energy. Yeah, divinely guided to do what? To be elusive? To give no closure? Spirit is, the, is guiding you to kind of like not be so, um, yeah, they're wanting you to like lay low. Yeah, I think that they're wanting you to lay low. Like not like it's something like this. Don't let this person know everything that's going on in your life right now. Tell me more about yeah, the Hange man. Yeah, the Hange man and the Four of Wands. They're gonna have to make some sacrifices here. Or actually, there somebody's perspective could be changing on like marriage and commitment. But I also feel like they need to make some sacrifices to have if they want this with you. What is clean up in Queen of Wands? Three of Wands, waiting on what? The devil, see, there's that. Yeah, I feel like you guys were waiting on this person to like overcome some type of destructive habit or even like let go of a destructive connection that they had with somebody. But for things to go to the next level between the two of you, get their life together. But see, we have, they were making, yeah, this is somebody that's been making false promises to you. They've been telling you that they're cleaning up their life, they're changing, they're healing, they're they're conquering their addictions, they're whatever, they're doing all this shit. The series says that they've been making false promises to you. This person knows that you have a soft spot for them or that they feel like, yeah, that you're kind of weak for them sometimes. Yeah, what about Six of Wands and Undecided? This person is, pride is an issue too. What What is pride? Three of Pentacles. This person doesn't want to compromise. It's like this person wants to have it their way they don't want to have to meet you in the middle or anything like that um what about dark night of the soul a long wait yeah i feel like this person has a really big like they have a lot a long like they have a transformation process they need to go through and i feel like this person's been wanting you to put your life on hold for them but seriously so this is something that's going to take a while what about the tower the nine of pentacles it's almost like y'all are trying to hang in there with this person but the divine was like, no, like, we don't want you just sitting here putting your life on hold for this person. They got separation is necessary. Exactly. Gotcha. Yeah, making sense now. It's almost like, you know, that this person has a lot of shit they need to get together in their life. And I feel like this person was making you a lot of false promises. I'm not even so sure that they are really putting in that work that they said that they were doing because we have false promises here. So the spirit knew more than you did. They knew that, you know, this person was saying, oh, I'm changing, I'm doing this, and just give me some time and we'll be together and we'll have this, we'll have this. Spirit knew better than you. They knew that this person was like really just trying to like sleep with you right now. Like they weren't really trying to like change. They were trying to resist change actually. And I feel like Spirit was like, no, this process that they need to go through, it's going to take a while. Don't sacrifice your happiness because that's what it would be like being with this person because they're so unhealed and they're so toxic. All they would do is like, that would influence your life in a negative way. So it's almost like the divine intervened and they made you like something, the divine intervened in some way. There was some type of tower moment that now you're single. Like, it, like you freed yourself from the situation. Either they walked away from you or you walked away from them. Um... It forced you to focus on yourself. And this is what spirit wanted because they're saying that this person was only going to learn these lessons in the separation. The separation was actually necessary. They, they never intended for you to sit there and wait for this person to get their life together. So they were like, so they intervened. Yeah, temperance. And we have the king of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy. What about temperance and the king of pentacles? The manifesting you. So as this person heals, 
or yeah as this person heals and moves more into alignment they gotta go through this soul searching this solitude yeah i see a new beginning in love and them coming back towards you a lot more vulnerable yeah but um what is the nine of wands though the queen of cups what about the queen of cups somebody's like guarded with their emotions yeah eight of cups What's... they are they gonna walk away from somebody or they're very close to walking away from somebody yeah, if they haven't walked away from somebody yet, they're about to with the Nine of Wands. They're tired. Yeah, I feel like this person... What is So what's making them get into their feelings here? The Eight of Swords. What's making them get into their feelings? The King of Cups, yep. And the Knight of Wands. Uh, the world. Somebody wants to, doesn't want to be a player anymore. But why is the Eight of Swords here? The Lovers and the Unawakened. They don't still understand. Quite, they know they have feelings for you. They don't quite understand it yet, though. The Four of Pentacles. So they're holding back from you. They would like to spend some time with you, but they're not ready to um, tell you how they really feel. Like, they're not really ready. They, they are in regret over this, whoever this third party is that they linked up with. Yeah. All right. Um, tell me more about what's going on here. So we have sex. What is this? Sex life, sexual encounter, healthy sex life, and fun. Tell me more. What about that? Superstar. I'm telling you. Somebody thinks you're sleeping with other people. We have fame, attention, public recognition, and spotlight. What? Budgeting. Cost. Or this person was trying to do something to get some attention here. Or costly decisions, debt, money issues, and resources. Does somebody feel like they're all their business did not aired out here? Because that's kind of what I'm getting. Tell me more. What's that do with my collective? True love. So they feel like you are their true love. They feel like you guys have an unbreakable bond. Or it just is. Even if they don't recognize it as that yet. It says pure love, deep passion, easy, unbreakable bond. Okay, so what about these other cards? Somebody feels like they did, it, they did something stupid. Or we have divine time. I feel like spirit is saying that it's too risky right now to be involved with this person in this way too. I don't know. Divine time what? The others. Yeah, choices. No commitment. Yeah. Flirtation. Seduction, attraction, temptation, lure and charm. Who's going to try to lure you into bed here? I don't know. Abundance. What about abundance? Mature woman and like a movie. Somebody feels like you're out of their league. Like, I don't know. They feel like you're out of their league or they feel like you're too good to be true. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Communication and mountain climb. So you may hear from somebody. Somebody even may come in and show interest in you. And this may, I don't know, this may not even be this person. Someone's coming in to show you that they're interested in you. It could be this person, could be a different person. But there's something here. Challenges, delays, blocks, not an easy path of why. We have second guessing. Yeah, I need more info, unsure, change of mind, doubt. So somebody's reaching out to you, but I don't see you guys being so quick to talk to this person. Because you're doubt you're you don't feel the same way. What is this? You you know what this person what is um superstar doing it big? All or nothing, the best grand gestures and big risk. To do what? Ugh, what is this? Sweet home. Going within. Somebody's used to like being an escapist or something here, guys. Like somebody's used to like going to do doing things to have a, to avoid their feelings and emotions, talking to other people, um, partying, drugs, whatever they do. Somebody's like being forced to go within or something like that. What about the others? Or that somebody did something for attention and they regret it now. They feel like it was very costly. What is the others? Radiance. 
and cat spirit. Independence, freedom, healthy boundaries. Confidence, knowing your worth, inner light. No commitment, choices, love triangle. What does that have to do with the surfer? Overcoming challenges, facing fears. There's something about this person, you being in this confident energy and you knowing your worth. I've been saying this all week. Um, and being in this independent, setting these boundaries, them thinking that you also have options or you have choices in love is making this person overcome. It's helping them overcome some type of fear because remember, this person doesn't want to lose you. So the fact that they think you're out there dating, yeah, look at this shady business, gaslighting, suspicious, unreliable, and dishonesty. What about that? Worth a fight, not giving up easily second chance and fight for it. I feel like this person feels like, what a shady business. Loveless, uncompromising, rigid expectations, the plan. And rainbow, blessings. What, but what is shady business though? Dishonesty? About what? Travel? A break? Vacation? Getaway? Honeymoon? Who is doing something here? Friendship? True gem. Okay, so what does it do with shady business? Oh, they were doing something shady online, it looks like. They've been doing something shady online. Online chat, messenger, or social media activity. So what are they going to, what about that? Going places, no games, impressive moves, busy. Are they, are they watching you too? Total package. Hmm. This person wants to like level up for you, be better for you. But it's something about them. Yeah, it's almost like they'll be back. But you like moving on and exploring your options and like not just sitting there waiting on them and them knowing you're not just sitting there waiting on them is like making this person like it's it's like almost like a motivation for this person. Not almost it is. This person has a, a lot of different things. It's their their mind is kind of running crazy right now about what, what you could possibly have going on right now. Who you're with, who you're dealing with. Yeah, tell me more. We have breakthrough. So it says, a significant breakthrough is near. Whatever you're going through is preparing you for the big break. Discovery, progress, big boost, okay? We have reunion, Lord. So y'all, you're gonna come back together with this person. Spirit is not over. The story is not over yet. Getting together, mending, reconciliation, harmonizing, compromise, and meeting again. Tell me more. You have communication. So yeah, you are going to hear from somebody. Be open to receiving messages right now. It's important to communicate clearly and honestly. Calls, texts, expression, and answers. Good luck, okay? We have good things are manifesting. Blessed connection, fortune, lucky break, good opportunity, great chance, and joyful occasion. So when is this happening? Is this reunion? Is this present energy? Connecting? I don't know. I feel like right now you guys are opening taking a risk and connecting with new people or something like that, or they are. Because it's searching new love, pursuit, flings, dating multiple people, hunting, exploring, available. Love that involves great risk, taking chances, leap of faith, play with fire, a lot at stake, facing fears and gambling. So I feel like some of you guys are taking a chance in like dating other people or being open to other, what does this mean for their twin or whoever this person is? Ascension, so they're ascending. This person's ascending. Yeah, something is actually taking off now, happening. You're shifting from one reality to a higher vibrational reality. Time to soar to new heights. So Spirit is saying that they want that's oh, they want you to be in the energy where you're exploring other options or dating and seeing what else is out there. And some of you guys, this has been a it's been hard for you to do this. Yeah, this is actually something that you're afraid of a little bit, or it's just makes you nervous. Like you're taking a chance. Cause some of you guys really want to be with this person. But Spirit is saying that like. You and this person need to be apart right now. So, yeah, creative forces. They're getting more into their emotions. Yeah, your creativity is endless. The creative power you, power you hold is far greater than you realize. Yeah, I told you, because it says artist, inspiration, innovative. You moving on with your life is making this person, yeah, expect a positive outcome from a good choice you have made in the past. In alignment, forethought. Mm -hmm. Bullseye. So someone is going to be shooting their shot. They're very focused on you or set on you. Even if you're dating other people, even if you're in another relationship, whatever. This person still, it has their sights set on you. Yeah, focus, no distractions, set on you, goals, no games, not giving up. Mm. Yeah. 
mirror. But they, yeah, bad behaviors need correcting. Exactly. Because you're dealing with someone that's either a narcissist. Yeah, self, if they're not a full-blown narcissist, then they're self-absorbed. Things are very one-sided between the two of you. You were doing all the work. This person needs to take a look in the mirror. Yeah, vanity, ego, selfish, boastful. So tell me more about what this means for my collective, though. Because I see you guys are going to be dating. Yeah, look at this wide open. The path before you is clear. Your desires and intentions are supported by the universe. No blocks, open path, and yes. Give me a few more. We have ghosting. I'm telling you. You guys are kind of like in this energy. They don't know what is going on with you. And it stresses them out. But it also like... You're limiting the access that they have to you. Not ready to communicate. Not returning calls, texts. Yeah, I told you, you guys are going to be ignoring this person. You're not talking to them. You're kind of like running from them. Like you're in a runner energy. Like you feel like you need to avoid them. Some of you guys feel like you need to avoid them at all costs right now. Look at this. Explore options. Explore new opportunities and look into other options. So you guys are kind of like, no, I can't be with this person right now. So the dynamic has kind of shifted. If this person's not chasing you yet, they probably will be soon. It's going from, they were, you were probably chasing this person at some point and they were running from you. Now it's more so like, you're like, no, I'm, I'm going to take my chances and get out there and see what else is out there because I can't trust this person. They got a lot of work to do on themselves. So yeah, we have choices, opportunities, and refocus. So you're sh shifting your focus away from this person, but see, what is this? What about the devil? If real love. Huh. Codependent, obsession, possession, major blocks, abuse, control, addiction, and manipulation. Is somebody becoming obsessed with you because you're doing this? I swear someone is. I, the first card I saw was the devil. It's like it's making somebody feel like, I'm going to get a clarify on the devil. But I, I mean, I did clarify it with real love. So it says true feelings worth exploring. Mutual feelings, mature love, heartfelt, fast love, special connection, healthy and sincere connection. What is the devil, though, in regards to this? You have door to power. So it says your courage to stand up for what you believe in will bring great blessings into your life. Ruling, power, respect, and wealth. Huh. What does that do with the devil, though? Mountains. It will not be an easy path. Blocks, setbacks, delays, big problems. So I feel like spirit is one. You know that, yes, there is real love between you and this person. This is a true connection. This is a twin flame connection. This is a twin flame reading. But that this person has a lot of work to do. Like... Blocks, setbacks, delays, big problems, hardship, trouble, a lot of work. Yeah, burdens and mistakes. I feel like that's them. So now what? Drama. Ooh. Who's who's upset? Emotions are running high. Arguments, conflict, fallout, opposing views, toxic energy. What about it? Feeling deeply. Embrace your feelings. Allow you allow to feel them fully. Love is entering your life. Open heart, emotions, and love. So what's that do with their twin though? Between worlds. Yeah, they're in like a transitional period. Yeah. There is the one reality that is slowly dying to the one still waiting to be born. Critical stage, the old and the new. One more card. Drama. Confusion. Need certainty to trust. Uncertainty, doubt, hesitation, hard to read, questioning, complex situation, dilemma. Who is, um, who's confused here? Confusion about what? Things, this is a great time in your life. Things are progressing with grace and ease. So you guys may be confused if things are actually changing. Like if the if your manifestations are actually coming in. And Spirit wants to assure you that they, things are progressing. Yeah, but there's just a need to pause and reflect. Be mindful of your self-talk and solve your problems with the fullest mental clarity. Stagnation, release, and stillness. Yeah, th there just needs to be this time because this person needs to think about how they sent you mixed signals, how they were manipulative, how they need to grow the hell up, how they had, yeah, how they broke your heart. Yeah, there's just some things that still need to be sorted out. Sorted out. So I don't know. I don't think you and this person are going to be in separation for very long because this card literally says short break. This card literally says short break.